Welcome back, Simlings. I'm here yet again to bring you another flash tour of one of my older builds in The Sims 4. Um, I don't know if any of the rest of you happened to notice in my last video that I posted of the Sheffield Manor. I hid screenshots at the end of the video um, featuring this build. There were quite a few of them. They actually started off the screenshot portion of the build. If you noticed, kudos. I have pre-recorded this video, so I have no knowledge of who noticed what. But this home that I just circled is Adrian's. She's one of the kids that grew up in the Sheffield Manor. Um, and then she, she didn't want to stay in the family home so she decided instead that she would move into her own place so when you enter you see a foyer it's pretty empty because i didn't really know exactly what to do with that and any items that i put there really kind of cluttered it up since it's mostly just doorways um but from there you can go into the living room I like the idea of having a little alcove area of the room that just fits the couch because it really kind of separates it and makes the room feel a little bit bigger. And it helps the facade on the outside. And then there's this long hallway that stretches all the way around the staircase and into a study area. Um, you can also get to the study from the door inside the staircase area. And there's not very much more to that. Moving on, we have a little breakfast nook area and the kitchen with a uh, bar stool seating area. This is actually one of my absolute favorite kitchens that I have built in the game, even still today, even though this build is very old, around 2016-ish, maybe? I think I said in a in the previous video that I love huge kitchens. I love kitchens with a lot of storage space and a lot of clutter and tinkering and, and uh, cabinets and everything like that. And really struggling there with the Sims camera. Any tips are appreciated with that, by the way. I was just simply trying to rotate around the axis of the kitchen to show you all the dining room. So this dining room is extremely yellow, but I kind of like it. It's very um, diva-ish in a way. I don't really know exactly what word I'm looking for there, but I use some of the cabinets to frame the uh, one of the windows at the back and just to add more interest and detail to the room. So obviously we're going to have an indoor pool so I have a little bathroom that leads to a shower room that leads out to the pool. And there's not really much to the pool. We didn't really even at the time have very good furniture to uh, line the pool so I didn't I didn't have the chairs that I, of the sort that I was looking for, so I just kind of plopped down the next best thing. And the pool's kind of a funny shape, but hey, it was 2016, I don't know what I was thinking. We'll, we'll go with that. So then you can see the rounded uh, outdoor wraparound porch. Yeah, so going upstairs, there's just a tiny little seating area that exits out to the front yard balcony. There's not much going on out there, it's just a tiny little outdoor space. There's another balcony off to the side that you go, you go through what I'm using currently is the nursery to get to that part and the nursery is nothing special really just a few items 
there's also another balcony at the other end of the hall. So the master bedroom, I don't think this is the finished version of the build, but I, I don't think I uploaded the finished version of the build that actually had end tables and all that. Um, and I used this little walk-in closet area where they had either side has its own closet. And then of course her bathroom's really pink because that's Adrian's just a very girly girl and whoever she marries just kind of has to deal with that. And off from the master ba bedroom is um, a little private living room area. And it exits out to a wraparound balcony. And I don't really think I furnished that balcony. No, I didn't do much to the balcony. And I really should have used the smaller closet. I don't know why I used that big bulky thing for the nursery, but the smaller closet would have saved a little bit of room, the one that's only two tiles. Oh, and I love this little bathroom. It's small and it's a bizarre shape, but I like it. I like the accent wall with the tub, the columns there to separate it, and the rug, even the placement of the little toddler potty. I think that's pretty cool. And then we have a little boy's bedroom. He has the smaller closet. But that is the second floor and pretty much the whole build for the house. <laughs> you can hear the birds in the background. And next door, she has her little bakery. That is actually Adrian's business. So let's jump over there and see what's going on. All right. So this is just a little like cafe slash bakery slash full on restaurant kitchen that I made. But I think in um, the gallery, it's actually just classified as a cafe or something. I don't think I actually classified it as a restaurant, but if you wanted to use it as a restaurant, it has um, the seating and everything. You'll just have to place a couple of extra items to make it work. So this is a very, very busy exterior, but I really like the outdoor dining. I like the pretty little garden area, and then you can see where they actually grow maybe some of the ingredients that they use uh, in the business. And there's not a lot to the interior. It's a pretty small little business, but when we go in, you'll see that the entrance is just a lot of places to buy different treats and, and baked goods that you put in the display racks. There's very little indoor seating area. There's even a little couch off to the side there that leads down to the stairs because you have to go downstairs for the bathroom. Um, you can see the kitchen up top there as well. It has a, a lot of appliances that I tried to cram in there because I think I built this before um, we got the dining, the dine out pack, and then I went in and actually tried to make it functional with the dine out pack. And then downstairs is a little addition that I made obviously for cupcakes because that machine is bulky. I can't stand that machine. <laughs> um, and then there's two different bathrooms. There's not a specified male female bathroom. They're just very different in decor. Um, and then this area is a club room because Adrian uh, hosts one of her own clubs. I forget what expansion pack that came with. 
but um, that's just where her, her club meets. As I've said in previous videos, I'm not that great with uh, community builds, but I was actually kind of happy with the aesthetic of that one. So the next build over is not actually one of Adrian's builds, but it was originally intended to be one. It's a newer-ish build, and it's just a clothing store. I just tried to make it look like, uh, like you walk into a general fashion clothing store. Inside you have... A little display and this build by the way isn't like 100% finished because I didn't actually dress any of the mannequins yeah so there's a dressing room all the way in the back corner there which I cluttered up with some of the clothing items because anyone who's ever worked in retail fashion knows that not everybody will put their clothing back on the rack and and set it out um, but yeah there's some hanging clothes there's some folded clothes and I'm wondering if I ever zoom into this because that little archway area there has a bunch of gift boxes and I imagine that that's like a holiday shopping area or you can use them for like shoe boxes and memory boxes and that sort of thing but that is all for today's flash tour you got to see three different buildings today and I hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe wherever you are in the world and i hope to see you back with more sims content as well as other games um, go ahead and drop a comment to let me know what you would like to see me play um, or even just build in the sims and i apologize for the birds in the background there they're uh, acting up getting excited um but yeah Hope you enjoy the screenshots and I will see you next time.